Hi, and welcome back to the quarry garden. And I'm here in the spring borders, digging up winter aconites and snowdrops, just so I can spread them around empty gaps in these borders. Now it's a little bit breezy, so hopefully you can hear me okay. But these winter aconites are very pretty this time of year. It's one of the first spring bulbs to actually come through, certainly in my garden here in Northumberland. And they have very pretty yellow buttercup type flowers. Um, and they actually flower for about one to two weeks. Not very long, depends on the weather obviously. And then the whole plant will just disappear below the ground to emerge the following spring. Leaves, flowers, everything. But once you actually get them into the ground and you've had them a few years, they do actually spread everywhere. Really lucky like that. And all they actually are are very small tubers. And I can bring this towards the camera to show you. It's a very small circular bulb, whichever is a bulb or a tuber, very small. I've had more success planting these in the green, hence why I dig them up every year to spread them around. I have actually tried to um, add them as bulbs in the autumn time, but they do take a lot longer to establish and they certainly don't spread as quick. Whereas this way, digging them up now, spreading them around this time of year, next year you'll have twice as many, so it's really worthwhile. And it's the first job that I actually carry out here in the spring garden this time of year. The second job today is to actually do the same thing with the snowdrops, and that's Galanthus novalis, which to you and I is just the common snowdrop. And I actually have lots of them here in the spring borders but originally I only started with three very small clumps but now because I've carried out this process every spring for the last seven eight years I have them everywhere in the quarry garden up here on the top quarry gardens and certainly down in the bottom of the quarry garden so let me dig up a few more and I'll show you where I'm going to plant first of all the winter aconites So I'm going to plant these winter aconites just around um, the base of these hookeras and next to these black grasses because I do think the yellow buttercup flower next to the black grasses will really pop. I think they're really pretty. I do like that contrast. And to plant them, if you're planting them as bulbs, you need to plant them about three times the depth, just like most bulbs, three times the depth of the bulb is the plant. It'll be a similar type of um, three times the depth of the actual plant. And basically, just pop it in and cover all the roots over. And one thing to note, try and actually, if you are digging them up like I have today, try and actually get them into the ground as quickly as possible because they will dry out, especially in winds like today. And when you first put them in, do water them. And if you have a lot of dry weather, water them for the first season, just until they establish. After that, obviously, you never have to water them again. So I'm going to add some more around these hookeras and these grasses. And then we're going to move on to the snowdrops. So just watering in these winter aconites. We have added them today just so they don't dry out. Especially because it's quite windy today. And I'll continue to do this to add more aconites around this area in the next couple of weeks. But now I'm going to add some snowdrops to the white garden. So this is the white garden in the winter and as you can see it's anything but white. Got some dried hydrangea flowers and these have been really good. Give it a bit of architecture to the garden this time of year but they're all ready now to be cut back. Starts to blow off, the flowers are blowing off in the wind. And really we've got some perennials coming through but there's not an awful lot. There's nothing white, no flowers at all. And I just think adding snowdrops this time of year will really give a punch of colour. So I'm going to add snowdrops along all of the paths. I may add them around the semicircles of the, um, the lawn too. I'll see how it looks. I'm going to play it by ear with this. I did plant, I did manage to actually add a lot of daffodil bulbs in the autumn, December time I added those. Nice white thalia daffodil bulbs and they are actually tucked in behind the roses here and also behind um, either side of the path. So I'm going to have to be careful where I add these snowdrops. But yeah, let me get the snowdrops first of all and I'll show you what I'm going to add. 
So these are the snowdrops I've dug out. Quite big clumps and these are mainly all um, singles. And I do have a few doubles, but I'll, I think I'll probably just add the singles to either sides of these paths. Very much like I dug out of the ground, the, um, the winter aconites, dug well below the actual bulbs and I've got some root on them. I am going to split that clump to about two or three um, different clumps because that's too much of a large clump to actually use. So basically just try and ease them apart very gently, just trying to keep a good bit of root on each clump. And you can see there, it's got some good root on. So I'm going to place these either side here. Again, around about two, th two to three times the depth of the bulb. So I'm going to add them all the way around here and I'll show you it at the end. I've got about three quarters done, I would say, but I thought I'd show you how far I've got before it gets too dark to fill them. Um, it's worked out okay. These two sections up here, one I haven't actually started on my um, right here, but on my left, um, it's pretty awkward because I have a lot of primulas. So I'm trying to work in between all of the um, plants that are already in the ground. Similarly down the bottom here, I've got some geraniums. I'm trying to work around them all, but I'm quite pleased with how it looks. Um, some of the snowdrops obviously passed the best, some are obviously just ready to open or have just opened. And I do find that actually um, lifting and dividing snowdrops in the green, like what they are here, you get better results the following, um, the following year. So I've just moved over to this path so you can see either side of this one too. And just behind the snowdrops, I've actually got daffodils just poking through. So that'll be something else to look forward to. But they are Thalia daffodils and they do tend to flower around about end of April, May time. So that's a little bit way off. <laughs> but that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.